The response of cats to catnip typically is a blissful and euphoric one, without any negative side effects or consequences. Therefore, it is surprising and unfortunate how little research has been done on this topic. We still do not know, for example, why cats and why only cats respond to catnip. We also do not know which olfactory or smell receptors are involved. After we had adopted our cats from the shelter, we decided to keep them indoor only for many good reasons. Therefore, we felt obliged to make their living environment as interesting as possible. When we offered our cats catnip, nothing happened. We tried different brands and even grew the plant ourselves, but no response, no response from any of the cats. Now you can find many stories on the internet where people claim other plants have effects on cats similar to catnip. We decided to test some of these plants on a large number of mostly shelter cats. In addition to catnip, we offered them silvervine, which is a kiwi plant shown here, and tutarian honeysuckle wood, which you can see on these photographs. We found that about 70% of the cats responded to catnip, which was in agreement with previous studies done in the 60s and 70s. Half of the cats responded to tutarian honeysuckle wood, and about 80% of them to silvervine. Interestingly, of the cats who did not respond to catnip, most of them responded to either silvervine or tetarian honeysuckle. These results were published in BNC Veterinary Research in 2017. Next, we offered a smaller group of cats a variety of these cat attracting plants on 10 different days and recorded their response with a camera. This allowed us to compare response duration and behavior to the different plants. The results from this experiment taught us that some cats even seem to prefer silvervine or tetarian honeysuckle over catnip. However, when we compared the behavior of the cats to the various plants, for example, body position, head rubbing, licking, raking, or bunny kicking, we found that this was the same for all plants. Interesting, interestingly, though, different cats show different behavior. Cat Agaberry, for example, seen on this photograph, mostly stayed in a sitting position while giving the plant material lots of head rubs, whereas another cat would roll around on his back and give lots of bunny kicks. We also observed behavior that had not been previously described, rippling of the back. This was seen in about half of the group and was highly specific for the response to these plants. It has been known for a long time that the molecule Nepeta lactone, seen over here, in catnip is responsible for the catnip response. We also knew that plants such as silvervine and tetarian honeysuckle do not contain this molecule. So therefore, we looked at the chemical composition of the other plants and detected about a dozen of molecules that have a shape very or somewhat similar to Nepeta lectone. We then synthesized these molecules and presented each of them separately to the cats. Somewhat surprisingly, all of the cats responded to most of these molecules, similar to how they responded to catnip. There was one molecule named actinidin, seen over here, that looked least like Nepeta lactone. For example, it lacked the oxygen atoms and contained a nitrogen atom instead. Only few cats responded to this molecule, but those who did really seemed to prefer it over any of the other cat attracting molecules. These results and more were recently published in BMC Biology. What these results mean for your cats, for example, is that if your cat is not too keen on catnip, you now know that you can try giving him or her some silvervine or tetarian honeysuckle. The observation that only few cats enjoy actinidin is particularly interesting because this suggests that more than one olfactory or smell receptor is involved in the detection of these molecules. If you are interested, you can read both publications for free and access them by using your QR code uh, scanner on your phone. Um, and scan these QR codes on the poster.